Okay, uh, uh, just in. Winter is here. Oh, yes. We want to make sure your home is ready because while you're inside trying to keep warm, the last thing you want is cold air sneaking in. Mackenzie Walter live this morning at Window World with some easy ways to keep your house heated this winter. Hey, good morning. That's right. The last thing you want is the cold creeping into your warm house when you're trying. You're working really hard to keep it warm in there. We're with Josh Reed. We're at Window World. We are talking about a few things you can look for to make sure that you're doing what you need to to keep it warm. Absolutely. So big areas where you lose a lot of energy, windows doors are probably the biggest thing. Um, ideally, if you have old windows, you want to get some new high energy efficiency windows. But what do you want to do now uh, while it's still cold? Um, First thing, simplest thing, make sure your windows and doors are locked. Okay. They actually don't seal properly unless they're physically locked, which compresses their weather stripping and creates a tight seal so you don't get that draft of cold right. air coming in. Okay. With that, make sure that you do have solid weather stripping, that it's not torn along the bottom and the sides. If it is torn, you can go to any home improvement store and get inexpensive. You can get just some weather stripping you can put on there as a temporary fix until you're able to upgrade the windows. Right. Uh, other thing you can check for is along the sides if there's any drafts. You can even use like a, a flame of a candle mm. where you can put it to see if drafts are coming through, see if there's a flicker, and then you can use some caulk to caulk the, the cracks. Obviously, you don't want to crack your, you seal your window shut with caulk, <laughs> but you can do it along the seams, the edges, but make sure your weather stripping is nice on there. Okay. Same thing with doors. You have the weather stripping. There's a cutaway of a door. You have the weather stripping there. Make sure there's no tears uh, or anything on, on the door. But again, once it's closed, make sure your deadbolt is locked so you actually compress that, that seal and make it nice and nice, nice and energy efficient. Right. Okay. Um, another simple thing to do is uh, most people don't think about outlets where your um, receptacles are. You can insulate those because that's a big area where drafts come through is actually your receptacle outlets. You oh, can wow. either use the same window caulk, go to home, home improvement store and get one of these packets. This pack, there's six uh, insulators. It was like two dollars yeah. for a wow. six pack. Okay. So it's really inexpensive. And that'll help. And that'll definitely help cause some, stop some of that draft from, from coming in. Okay. Uh, a fantastic thing to do is actually to change your thermostat to a programmable thermostat. This one was about twenty-five dollars. You can set it so when you leave for the day, you're Energy bills can go down because you can set it at a, a lower level than you'd want it to be. You don't have to have the heat kicking all day while you're right. gone, but it can turn back on an hour or two before you come home, so it's nice and toasty when you yeah. get home. Okay, there you go. Blaine, Jess, these are great tips. Things you can do right now before the... Not before the cold hit, because the cold is here, for sure. Before the <laughs> snow comes, uh, check all your windows, check all your doors, and make sure that you're going to stay warm. All right. That's the goal.